Shannon Doherty, the actor best known for her role in Beverly Hills, 90,210, is facing a challenging chapter in her life as she battles stage 4 cancer. With her focus shifting from career to personal priorities, Doherty is making significant changes to ensure she can spend quality time with her mother. In a heartfelt episode of her podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty, released on April 1, the 53-year-old actor revealed her plans to sell off many of her material possessions. This decision, she explained, is driven by a desire to ease any future burdens on her mother and to use the proceeds to fund memorable experiences together without dipping into her savings. The cancer, for me, has really made me take stock of my life and shift my priorities. And my priority at the moment is my mom, Doherty shared on the podcast. She candidly discussed her obsession with furniture, emphasizing that she doesn't want her mother to be left dealing with four storage units filled with it. Instead, Doherty aims to streamline her belongings, allowing her to focus on what truly matters. Doherty's openness about her cancer journey and her decision to declutter her life resonates with many facing serious medical diagnoses. Like Doherty, other public figures have shared similar experiences. Michael Douglas, diagnosed with tongue cancer in 2010, has spoken about how his illness led him to cherish his family more. Scottish comedian Janie Godley, who is battling a recurrence of ovarian cancer, recently told British breakfast program Lorraine about her own decluttering efforts, emphasizing the emotional relief it brings. First diagnosed with cancer in 2015, Doherty has been a vocal advocate for cancer awareness and has frequently shared her experiences on public platforms, including a Good Morning America episode in 2020. Her latest comments come amidst research showing a sharp increase in cancer diagnosis among young people over the past 30 years, a trend that remains unexplained. Experts affirm the therapeutic benefits of Doherty's approach. Dr. Jeffrey Peppercorn, a breast cancer medical oncologist and the director of the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Supportive Care and Survivorship Program, advises patients to focus on what is most important to them amid the uncertainty of their prognosis. Stage 4 breast cancer is not curable, but it is treatable, meaning that we can control the disease and prevent it from getting worse, often for years, he said. Decluttering, whether it involves material possessions or emotional baggage, can help patients manage stress and focus on what truly matters. Psychotherapist and author Amy Morin echoes this sentiment, noting that people with serious or terminal illnesses often find it helpful to set goals or create a bucket list. As their priorities shift, they may find themselves letting go of possessions that once seemed essential. This process can lead to a deeper appreciation for life and the people they cherish. As Shannon Doherty continues her journey with stage 4 cancer, her decision to declutter her life is a powerful reminder of the importance of focusing on what truly matters. By prioritizing her mother and creating meaningful experiences, she is navigating her diagnosis with grace and resilience. Her story serves as an inspiration to others facing similar challenges, encouraging them to find clarity and purpose in the face of adversity. Shannon Doherty the actor best known for her role in Beverly Hills, 90,210, has stage 4 cancer. She's getting rid of her material possessions so she can focus on spending time with her mother. On an episode of her podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty, released on April 1, the actor said she wants to sell off some of her stuff so her mother doesn't have to worry about dealing with it if she dies. The cancer, for me, has really made me take stock of my life and shift my priorities. And my priority at the moment is my mom, Doherty, 53, said on the podcast. I don't want her to have four storage units filled with furniture because I have a furniture obsession. She also said she hopes to use that money to travel with her mom without dipping into her savings. A representative for Doherty declined to provide additional comment for this story. Doherty is one of several Hollywood stars who have used their public platforms to discuss the ways they're managing a cancer diagnosis. In 2014, for example, 
Michael Douglas said at a film festival panel that being diagnosed with tongue cancer in 2010 taught him to appreciate his family more, per the mirror. More recently, during an appearance on the British Breakfast program, Lorraine in March, Scottish comedian Janie Godley told host Lorraine Kelly that she, like Doherty, was also decluttering amid the recurrence of her ovarian cancer. I'm getting rid of a lot of clothes. I'm getting rid of a lot of old stuff. The charity shop loves me, Godley said. I'm paring everything down and getting everything ready so when I do go, it's not such a big trauma. Doherty was first diagnosed with cancer in 2015 and has spoken about her journey with the disease repeatedly on several public platforms, including on a Good Morning America episode in 2020. Her comments about getting rid of physical belongings came on the heels of new research that shows the rate of young people being diagnosed with cancer has risen sharply in the past 30 years. And while researchers don't know why the rate is increasing, Doherty's move to declutter her life is typical of, and often helpful for, people who are facing a serious medical diagnosis, two experts told Business Insider. Dr. Jeffrey Peppercorn, a breast cancer medical oncologist, and the director of the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Supportive Care and Survivorship Program, told Bai he advises his patients to focus on the things in life that are most important to them amid the uncertainty of their prognosis. Stage 4 breast cancer is not curable, but it is treatable, meaning that we can control the disease and prevent it from getting worse, often for years, he said. So, decluttering your life whether that means material possessions that you don't need, closets you have ignored for years, or things that you get stressed over that really aren't important, can be helpful, he said. It's common for people to realize that certain material possessions aren't that important anymore. Amy Morin, a psychotherapist and the author of 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do, told by. Someone might get rid of their tools as they realize they won't be restoring the antique car they dreamed about or they might sell their boat as they no longer imagine a life on the lake where they go fishing, Morin said. People with serious or terminal illnesses might find it helpful to set goals or create a bucket list, Morin said. As their priorities shift, they may find there are certain things they really want to accomplish, perhaps without the same fears they might have once had.